Fundamental Resonance, Episode 8, Radio Ears. Radio waves are all around us, a naturally occurring form of electromagnetic energy. Asking who invented radio is like asking who invented the sun. Radio is a phenomena. It exists with or without the technology we use to harness it for wireless communication. Radio is light, invisible light, but light nonetheless. All light originates from the stars, so radio might as well be called stardust. If it was, it would certainly be better understood. The language we use to talk about radio is definitely a source of confusion. The word radio can mean many things. A device that receives information carried by radio waves is a radio. But the device that encodes that information into radio waves for transmission is also a radio. And the naturally occurring electromagnetic waves that make this transmission of information possible also radio. The information that we receive from a radio, it's radio too. So the medium, the method, the signal, the transmitter, and the receiver, it's all just radio to us. I mentioned earlier that radio is light. It's true. It is. Radio is light, but not all light is radio. Just like visible light, radio is made up of photons, small particles that carry energy. Radio is just a color of light we cannot perceive, a special kind of light that because of its particular electromagnetic properties allows information to hitch a ride. Radio is light that carries information. Radio signals are created by moving electricity. A radio transmission is created by encoding information within an electromagnetic wave of a certain frequency and sending that specific frequency of energy back and forth down an antenna of a particular length. The energy running through the antenna is transferred from the antenna to the air around it, creating an electromagnetic wave of a particular frequency that can be received by a radio receiver tuned to that frequency. Different types of radio signals are created by different types of radio transmitters and are only able to be received by certain radio receivers. An FM radio station produces radio transmissions of a certain length. If you want to listen to FM radio, you need a radio receiver and antenna that are designed to pick up FM signals. There are many types of radio signals that are not meant to be heard, but if you have the right kind of radio receiver, you can hear them. Wi-Fi and cell phones use radio waves to send and receive data. You could hear the sounds of your next text being beamed up to a satellite if you have the right radio receiver. Microwaves are radio too. You could listen to the sounds of your next meal being warmed up if you have the right radio. Weather radar, GPS, and even the key fob used to unlock your car. It's all radio, and the sounds of that data is available if you know how to listen. Radio signals are created by natural sources as well. The energy from solar flares creates radio transmissions in our atmosphere, as does lightning and meteors. The slow movement of energy caused by the Earth's magnetic field can be heard with very low frequency radios, as can the crackling of the aurora borealis in the ionosphere. We could hear all these things and more if we had radio ears. The sounds of lightning, meteors, the Earth's magnetic field, the aurora borealis, cellular data transmission, radar, solar flares, and satellite communication were gathered from the following sources. The Worldwide Archive of Low Frequency Data and Observations, the University of Iowa Department of Physics, and the British Antarctic Survey Very Low Frequency Receiver at Halle Research Station.
Fundamental Resonance is a production of Fulcrum Arts. Written, composed, edited, and narrated by Sam Rowell. Audio mastering by Sean McCann.